Hello, it's Sarah, and I'm filming outside again. I'm in the sun. This time it's, oh, my weather isn't up on my watch. Jenny's running around like a nut. But I felt inspired. I was playing with Maya in her room the other day, and I had made her a pencil holder out of a votive glass votive thingy. I, I guess this is still for a votive. I don't know. It's big. Or just for a candle. And I remembered seeing at Michael's, and I had a 50% off coupon. So I went to Michael's. I thought, I, I'm, get, I'm ready to go for my walk. I'm going to go for my walk. But I remembered seeing, and I have already um, a mold, but I, I wanted to let you guys know because I know it's available right now at Michael's. It's this mold. It's called, it's by Craftsmart and it doesn't have a name, but it's got all sea creatures on it. So there's a couple of seashells, a starfish, um, a regular fish, a, a turtle, and a seahorse. So if you want to participate, I'm going to do, this was a class that I took. But I've done it other times. Um, this I did this one on a glass block, and I had intended to put little twinkle lights in there, and never did. But um, I'm gonna do one of them, and I also then I went to the dollar store. Ooh, something else is in there. Oh, this one was at Michaels. Look how cute! I'm just gonna make a mini one because I feel like it, and I have other ideas. Like I know I'm gonna be using. Um, what are they called? Not grommets, eyelets. Eyelets, like I'm gonna, um, so first you're gonna need some round cookie cutters and some clay, obviously. I did buy clay. I got two turquoise, because I just love this color. This is Sculpey, by the way, Sculpey 3. They didn't have as many blues in the Primo, so I just got Sculpey. This is just to do the um, water. I got two turquoise and a, this is called sky blue, the light blue, and then this one is called teal pearl. So I'm going to try and blend these together. I'm not an expert, but I'm going to try and blend them together. There are probably tutorials on doing that that you could watch that aren't by me, that are by like other clay artists. But like um, most of it, so you're going to need some green for the little seaweed, and then just whatever other colors. And I'm just gonna keep it simple. Like I, these were made by the other mold that I have. So there's a dolphin in here, there's a bigger seahorse. One, just a, one fish. Uh, the s jellyfish were made in the class, so I probably won't do the jellyfish, and we'll just keep it real simple. But I love this coral. And then the sand, obviously. I think my other mold has this little little seashell and other little pieces. So um, this one actually has quite a few shells. One, two, three. Yeah, so we could just put shells along the bottom and then just repeat whatever's in this. A couple of different fish, you can make them go different ways maybe. Um, but I just thought like doing a little mini one would be super cute. If I just put like one fish on each side, I just think that's adorable. Uh, I went to the dollar store then after that because I wanted to see, because I'm going to make this for Joe's office. He always asks me to make something for his office. I think he, I'm getting hot. It's hot. Let's see. So, oh, 72. It's only 72, but it's sunshine. Um, and so he asked me to make a mandala thing, and I never, I, I make one and then I don't do it again. But they do have these votives at the Dollar Tree for a dollar. And this one is definitely smaller than this one, which I think is super cute. I love this one, obviously, but you know, it's mine. Um, but this could be like, I think I might keep this outside. I might put this out here with a little candle in it. And then I just got these. These were cute. These little huggies. So these were the three I picked. It says, I may be wrong, but it's highly unlikely. They're sarcastic. Um, immature, a word boring people use to describe fun people. <laughs> oh, that sounded a bit harsh. Let me add LOL to the end. This one is very 
someone I know would like that. And then the almond cookies that I love. So these are only, these are called almondette and they have a little icing on them, but they're 70 calories a piece. That's a lot. But anyway, I have to have a cookie from time to time. Uh, so that's what I got at the Dollar, dollar Tree. So I'm planning on, when I get home, I'm going to clear my desk of what's on it now um, and get out the clay, all right? So I'm gonna do this votive. Actually, maybe I'll do, I don't know which one I'll do on camera. It would be smarter to do the littlest one because then I wouldn't have, cause you're just gonna do the same techniques and that way it wouldn't take as long, which I know you guys don't mind. But I was thinking I'm gonna use eyelets. So what, what should you gather? Clay, really you don't need much more. A mold if you have one. You can always make a fish by hand. Um, little round cookie cutters. And then I used um, little gems, like you could use little gems or uh, what am I, Swarovski, um, you know what I mean, crystals. All right, it's gonna be cute. <sighs> That's it, I'm gonna go for my walk. All right, thanks for watching.